How to Protect Your Dog Against Carbon Monoxide Produced by incomplete combustion, carbon monoxide is an odorless, non-irritating gas. Familiar sources of carbon monoxide are propane heaters, automobile exhaust, and gasoline engines. Carbon monoxide poisoning can be seriously dangerous for you and your dog. Thousands of lives are lost throughout North America as a result of carbon monoxide poisoning. And unfortunately, animals are equally vulnerable to carbon monoxide as we humans are. This gas gets its deadly nature from its ability to bond with hemoglobin present in red blood cells, which diminishes the oxygen-carrying capability of blood. This, in turn, causes the lack of oxygen in essential organs such as kidneys, liver, and even the brain. All this can lead to organ failure and even death. In this video, we will tell you how to protect your dogs from harmful effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. What effects can carbon monoxide poisoning have on your dog? Carbon monoxide poisoning can affect your pets in a variety of ways. Following are some common effects of carbon monoxide poisoning that are especially harmful to dogs. Drowsiness. Weakness. Fatigue. Exercise intolerance. Nausea. Vomiting. Collapse. Red lips and ears and gums. Sources of carbon monoxide poisoning in dogs. There are multiple sources of carbon poisoning, and some of them are even regular household items. Owners should study about their contribution to carbon monoxide poisoning in dogs in order to prevent your four-legged buddy from such a harmful substance. A few of the most common sources of carbon monoxide poisoning are listed below. Automobile exhaust. Barbecue grills. Gas water heaters. Gas fireplace. Kerosene lanterns. Kerosene space heaters. Ovens. Propane heaters, furnaces, airplane cargo space, burning buildings. Any slow gas leak in a poorly ventilated space can expose your dog to deadly amounts of carbon monoxide. Diagnosis of carbon monoxide poisoning in dogs. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning vary from dog to dog, and therefore diagnosing carbon monoxide poisoning in dogs is not that easy. It is highly recommended to take your dog to the vet if you feel like something is off about your dog. Most dogs show signs of extreme fatigue if exposed to carbon monoxide for long, and therefore owners must keep an eye for any such symptoms. Your vet will also have to ask you a lot of questions about your dog in order to diagnose them with 100% confidence. He would like to know about your dog's eating habits and about any sudden changes in his behavior. Your vet will want to know whether your dog was nearby any potential source of carbon monoxide poisoning before showing the signs of fatigue and tiredness. He will also be very much interested in the day-to-day -day routine of your dog, and therefore we recommend that owners must be ready for all these questions so that they don't get overwhelmed. Conducting a blood test is also an excellent diagnosis method to determine whether your dog is suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning or not. Blood samples of a dog suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning will show elevated concentrations of creatinine kinase levels and low blood pH. Carboxyhemoglobin levels in the blood will also be elevated. Treatment of Carbon Monoxide Poisoning in Dogs if you feel like your pet has been exposed to carbon monoxide, then you need to be quick and immediately move them to open space. It would be best if you were quick as you won't be able to tell how much carbon monoxide has entered your dog's bloodstream, and therefore their life might be at risk. Moving them to an open area will provide your dog with increased amounts of oxygen that will undoubtedly help in warding off the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning in your dog. If your dog collapses and has no visible pulse, then you should immediately perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation also known as CPR on your dog, provided that you have the proper training to do so. This will help re-oxygenate the blood and expel carbon monoxide out of the system as soon as possible. It would help if you also decided to move your dog to the nearest veterinarian hospital. Don't hesitate to call an ambulance if you need to. Your vet will obviously be able to take better care of your canine friend and will most likely administer the following treatments on your dog. Oxygen Therapy Oxygen therapy translates to providing an affected dog with ample supplies of oxygen through a breathing mask or an oxygen chamber. Ventilators may also be used in extreme scenarios. Oxygen therapy is the most basic form of treatment against carbon monoxide poisoning, and it's effective in many cases. The oxygen levels are usually monitored by using a pulse oximeter while administering oxygen therapy. Intravenous fluids one of many adverse effects of carbon monoxide poisoning is that it can make blood pH level very low. Thus, in other words, carbon monoxide poisoning can make blood acidic in nature. This acidic blood not only has diminished oxygen-carrying capability but also directly hurts vital organs. 
Therefore, catering to this change in pH level is on top of the priority list of a professional veterinarian. Intravenous fluids that can make blood less acidic and increase the pH number of the blood are used to normalize the blood condition. This therapy is known as intravenous fluid therapy. Respiratory support. As stated earlier, ventilators are also used to control the situation and to provide affected dogs with an ample supply of oxygen and to assist them in respiration. Ventilators are the best way to bring your pet to a stable condition. Rehydration. Most folks aren't aware of the fact that carbon monoxide poisoning can also cause severe dehydration in your dog. Therefore, it is highly advised to offer clean water immediately by a bottle or a spoon to your dog if he is conscious. If he is not responding at all, then you should immediately take him to the vet as they will be able to rehydrate your pooch by an IV drip. How to avoid carbon monoxide exposure in your home. Carbon monoxide poisoning is undoubtedly something that no dog must go through, and therefore we are going to tell you three basic ways to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning in your home. Number one, avoid sources of carbon monoxide. As stated earlier, carbon monoxide poisoning can be caused by a number of household items, and therefore owners should take extra care in choosing safer alternatives to these items. The most common causes of carbon monoxide poisoning in households are space heaters, furnaces, and kerosene lamps. Owners should buy electrical heaters instead of gas heaters and should avoid using kerosene lamps at all. Proper cleaning of gas-operated heaters can also prevent carbon monoxide poisoning as such devices are less likely to produce carbon monoxide in any significant numbers. Number 2. Use Carbon Monoxide Detectors Using carbon monoxide detectors in your home is also a very method to lessen the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning in your home. These detectors will let you know whenever the carbon monoxide level reaches higher than what is considered safe, and some detectors even come with the capability of calling 911 once the carbon monoxide levels reach dangerous heights. Keep sure that your carbon monoxide detectors are always clean and are well supplied with batteries. It's important to clean your detectors regularly as carbon can easily build on them and thus can affect their functionality. Number 3. Preventing Carbon Monoxide Leak Owners should also be vigilant against any carbon dioxide leaks. The prime source of such leaks is usually water heaters. These heaters are typically built to last for 10 years, and if your water heater is reaching its end date, then it's better to replace them with a new heater right away. You should also follow all the safety tips, such as getting your water heater inspected every year, providing ample room for ventilation for your water heater, and changing the batteries of your carbon monoxide detectors regularly. Cost of Carbon Monoxide Treatment in Dogs Once at the hospital, the vet will immediately start oxygen therapy on your dog, and that can cost between $120 to $240 per treatment session. If your dog was exposed to carbon monoxide for a long time, then it means that his blood would have turned acidic and therefore making the administering of intravenous fluid therapy a must which can cost about $80. Severe carbon monoxide poisoning may also cause the vet to put your dog on a ventilator which can easily cost you around $50 to $130 per day.